Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for another webinar as part of our customer service series that we're doing here at Stonebridge Software. The goal of the series is to educate you about the Dynamics 365 customer service offerings that we have and give you some ideas on how you can incorporate this robust tool within your business. So the previous webinars that we had, you heard from Matt Van Dyke and Deepa Bansal about some cool customer service features that are coming out, specifically mentioning Copilot. And the first uh, episode of the series that we did was with Deanna um, internal here at Stone Ridge and Larissa over at Inspire. And both of them were talking about how Inspire leverages using customer service within their organization. So if you missed either of those webinars, go take a listen. Um, but today we are here to talk about Omnichannel for customer service specifically. So we are going to be highlighting how this Omnichannel for customer service within Dynamics 365 can really help elevate the level of customer service that your organization provides. Before we get into it, Barath and I will go ahead and introduce ourselves to you all. So first things first, my name is Allie Nelson. I'm a consultant lead focused on the Power Platform and customer engagement applications like customer service here at Stone Ridge. What I do for my day job is really talking to customers and helping find software solutions within the Power Platform and Dynamics 365 ecosystem that will help solve a lot of their business problems. So very passionate about this topic and love solving problems for our clients. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Bharat. I am a principal developer at Stone Ridge, uh, focused on Power Platform and customer engagement as well. And over the years, I have worked on multiple facets of the, uh, I've seen uh, the uh, app evolve, and uh, I have done some integrations around the customers, uh, customer CRM, and now it's CE. Um, yeah. That's it. Awesome. Thank you. So today, to give you an idea of what we're going to go through is we're going to start out at the very beginning. So if Omnichannel is a new word to you, we're going to describe to you what that means here in a moment, and we'll give you a brief overview of the offerings that are included with Omnichannel for customer service. Then we're going to talk about how Omnichannel can benefit your business and give you some ideas on the types of businesses that this works for, the types of people that use the application, all of that good stuff. After we lay the foundation for you, we're going to highlight how the application works. So we are going to show you the agent experience and the customer experience within the Dynamics 365 customer service application, including some tidbits around how to configure certain items within the system. And we'll try to keep it really high level as well, but just to give you an idea of what the behind the curtain looks like within the application as well. All right, so to kick it off, Parath, why don't you walk us through what Omnichannel for Dynamics 365 customer service is all about? Yeah, uh, Ali, we have a lot of features available in customer service Omnichannel. One of the primary, I guess we need to define what Omnichannel is, right? So here, yes. uh, this is about meeting where the customer is. A uh, customer may want, may want to talk about their uh, issues via a chat or an SMS or a phone call or even email or uh, a Teams chat. Uh, depending on uh, whichever the channel the customer reaches you, I think the agent, uh, Omnichannel provides the agent an option to preserve the context across all the channels and serve them, uh, you know, help them with their issues uh, irrespective of, you know, without having to talk to them about the problem uh, from the beginning. So within Omnichannel, we will preserve uh, the context um, and. If they reach out reach out to us via chat, and the next time they reach out to us via SMS, uh, the SMS will have a context of what happened in the chat. And um, obviously, the agent uh, will be able to better serve the customer given the context uh, from the previous interaction. And uh, secondly, supervisor insights. So the supervisor will be able to uh, monitor the chats or any conversations uh, live, and they will have they will have an option to you know uh, reach a uh, budge in and help the agent if the if uh, the sentiment is going bad, uh, like if there is a um, unhappy customer, the agent the agent may uh, can use the supervisor help and uh, help the customer there. 
and it also uh, it also enables the supervisor to proactively monitor the agent's productivity and uh, they will get an alert uh, like i said uh, when they are not, when the conversations are uh, the sentiment is going bad and then copilot uh, i think we have been hearing about this quite a lot lately but uh, we copilot is also available in customer service we will be able to use copilot's features copilot will suggest um, knowledge articles to use uh, during the case resolution and uh, they, uh, and also copilot will help the agents to summarize the case let's say if they want to send a case summary to a supervisor or any or a customer the copilot will be able to give us a nice summary that the agents can email to the customer right away and ali will uh, demo these features uh, here shortly and the customer service workspace, workspace is a one stop shop uh, that will uh, support the agents to in their interactions with the customer and uh, you will have a contact the agent will have the context of the cases uh, and uh, previous cases that the customer has created the account information and the contact information and all those details uh, that will help the agent to better serve the customer and finally customer service uh, customer self service portal this is something that does not that is not included in customer service but it is like an add on that a um, you know, um, the customer service provider can uh, stood up uh, that will have the context of the case um, and all the interactions that the customer had with the agent. So this is where uh, someone, a customer can log in and see the progression of the case and the steps that have that the agent has taken to, so far to in the resolution of the case. So this will basically give them a overall picture of the case and also you know uh, helps with the self service portion. They don't they can reach out to the customer they, they can reach out to the agent if they want more details in addition to what is already available on the self service portal. Absolutely, and a lot of people love that option as well because it cuts down on some of the interaction time with your customer service agents too. And mm -hmm. so um, an example of what you'll see here shortly is how we have a chat widget out on a website. You can also put those um, cases and knowledge articles out on a portal to make this experience even more self-service for your customers. I love it. All right, thanks for that intro, Barat. Um, next, I'm going to talk about some common customer complaints that come up regarding customer service. So a lot of times we interact with customer service companies for a variety of issues. Um, I even said issues right there. So a lot of times something is not working when we're reaching out for customer support. And when that customer support doesn't go smoothly, customers tend to get frustrated. And there are common issues that come up that make customers not happy in those situations. Well, the good news is that with this Dynamics 365 customer service solution, a lot of those common customer complaints can be resolved with the functionality that's included within this application. So for example, long hold times. Nobody likes to sit on hold for an extended period of time. And while some of that issue might be caused to understaffing, one way that this application can solve this problem is with routing. And so what the routing does is routes the caller or your text conversation or your chat directly to the agent that's most well equipped to handle their issue. So sometimes people might be sitting on hold while they're getting bounced around between these different agents and nobody likes that experience. So by setting up solid routing rules within your application, you can make sure that your customers are getting to the right person right away instead of having to wait an extended period to get to somebody who can actually solve their problem. Another common customer complaint is when they have to repeat their issue. And Marath mentioned this already a little bit as well, but one way that this application solves that is with transcripts and keeping context from past conversations. So you'll have the option to save transcripts and save even conversation recordings for voice calls directly within your application. And that makes those conversations and past conversations visible to anyone who's going to be working with that customer. So they can go in, you can see a history of that conversation. If you're transferring between multiple different agents during that first contact attempt from that customer, they'll be able to go back and read the transcript and see what has happened up until that point. So you don't have to say, I'm sorry, what did you talk to the last person about? And get your customer frustrated by repeating themselves over and over again. 
Um, a really cool feature that's coming out or is out now is you can use Copilot to summarize information as well. So on those cases, there can be a case summary that will recap all the information and recap those conversations as well to, again, make it even quicker for your agents to see what's going on in the context of those conversations instead of having to go back and read this entire transcript. So Copilot is really summarizing that information and making it quicker for your agents to find as well. The last customer complaint example we have on here is no first call resolution. So basically you finish your call and you aren't happy because your issue still is not solved. So one way that Dynamics 365 customer service can help with that is by leveraging knowledge articles and Smart Assist. So Smart Assist is an AI-powered capability that will pull from the context of the information your agents are typing on the screen and provide suggestions. And those suggestions could be previous cases um, or knowledge articles that are related to the information that your agent is typing in on that screen, describing that case or conversation that's happening. And by quickly seeing that information, your agents will be able to reference previous cases, see how they were resolved, and see if they can follow that same path in order to resolve the conversation that they're having currently with this customer. Having a good knowledge base also provides your agents with additional tools to be able to solve, or solve problems faster because they will be able to find quick answers to common problems, and those knowledge articles can be for internal or external use only. So your internal articles may be really short and sweet, which really help your agents find quickly of, oh, this was the problem that came up and this is what they did to solve it. I'm gonna do that same thing in this situation. So you're really making this information readily available for your agents, allowing them to work more efficiently with your customers and leading to that first call problem resolution. All right, so Barack, right. back to you. Who uses Dynamics 365 customer service? Yeah, so anyone uh, that, you know, think of a situation where as, you know, as a customer, we would reach out to someone for some information or some help or, you know, guidance on some on one of the process or like a help with a, helping with an issue. Uh, so obviously we'll have a lot of uh, customer service representatives uh, that will be, that. The customers will reach out in if they need an answer to a question or uh, let's say review an outstanding balance for their accounts or take payments or even update account information um, and additionally technical support agents um, so troubleshooting the devices or in, uh, giving you know if we have any like recently i called my uh, washer uh, guy at the fault pool customer service because there was a discoloration so someone on their side, agent, uh, will uh, answer their call. So this is a situation uh, where they can help us you know, with the issue, give some information, or in some cases, step-by-step -step guidance if you have to reset or you know or do something about the problem as a resolution. And obviously, supervisors. Um, so they will be able to like monitor, like I said, uh, monitor uh, the interactions with the customers. And then uh, they will uh, they will get a notification when there is an escalation uh, in the customer's tone or escalation in the sentiment of the uh, interaction, as well as uh, they can monitor uh, some of the metrics uh, like KPIs and the CSAT scores to uh, check how the call center is performing. Absolutely, and I'll elaborate on those acronyms for a moment, just so we can avoid as many acronyms as we can. It's I swear it's impossible in this industry though, but KPI, Key Performance Indicator, and CSAT, Customer Satisfaction Score. So super important to keep track of those from a supervisor level and make sure that your customers are ending on a happy note. All right, so now to talk about some examples of businesses that use Dynamics 365 customer service. And these are simply examples. I think that slide that Barath just talked us through highlights a lot in terms of the broad scope of what we would consider a customer service representative, right? It's essentially somebody who's going to be on the phone interacting with customers or like what we talked about with Omnichannel. It can be via text, it can be via email, it can be corresponding with your customers on a variety of channels. And really this tool helps provide support options and make your agents empowered to be able to support your customers. So while we just have a few examples of businesses up on the screen here, this application really does apply to a broad scope of businesses out there. 
Um, so if you think that this is a good fit for your business after watching this webinar, certainly reach out to us and we are happy to talk to you some more about it. So the first business example that we have are manufacturers. So Baraz just talked about technical support. That's where the technical support comes into play is when you're manufacturing a product and you need someone to help answer questions, support order replacement parts or add on parts after your customers receive that product, right? So you build this piece of equipment or device, you send it out to your customer and the customer doesn't know how to install a part or might be having issues or I'm not sure what Barat's issue was with his washer, but something was going on and he had to call and reach out and try to get some help and troubleshoot it. Perhaps their error codes, things like that. Um, so manufacturers could definitely use this application to help support your customers. Um, service providers as well. You go out and provide a service. There's the front end of the phone call and somebody who needs to set up maybe an initial discussion or talk about your services with your customer before a service provider comes out on site. Those could be your customer service agents there helping to answer those questions about the services that you provide and then perhaps even following up when the service is complete to make sure that you're satisfied um, or support surveys and things like that to make sure that you're satisfied with the service after it's completed. Another use case is internal IT support. So a lot of times this application will be used. Um, we use Dynamics 365 customer service here at Stone Ridge. Um, we are users of the software, it's great. So if customers have an issue, they will submit a case and our customer service team will go through and help resolve those cases. So a lot of times when we talk about the Dynamics 365 customer service application, we talk about it in the context of supporting your external customers, but really this is an application that can support your internal customers too. And where the omni-channel comes into play is if you're a large IT team supporting a large organization and you might be getting live phone calls, live Teams chats, all the different methods that people could be reaching out to you for help, that's where bringing all of those into one application, being Dynamics 365 customer service with the omni-channel capabilities, is really going to help benefit your business.